Well, everyone, what a beautiful day. I wanted to be positive right now and talk about some of my favorite things about the iPhone 12 series that are almost impacted from the whole entire iPhone 12 lineup. Now I'm going to be doing the same exact video, but I'm going to be totally negative. I'm going to be hating on the iPhone 12. So if you want to see that one, stay tuned. I mean, I'll probably drop it before or after this one. But honestly, I really kind of like the iPhone 12s in, in a way. Yeah, they may have increased the price in some different variations, but I think for the most part, these three things that I'm going to hit on are actually some things that I was pretty shocked that Apple actually brought in to the iPhone 12 series. Now, the very first thing, which I was honestly super shocked about, was the MagSafe capability that these iPhones now have. Now, I think people just automatically assume that MagSafe for these iPhones is, you know, something like you plug in the charger on the bottom and that it just sticks better or whatever just like how macbooks had but that is not the case at all pretty much you know as some of you guys may know MagSafe is that magnetic capability that clipped it in a little bit better in terms of the MacBook chargers. And on the back of the iPhone 12s, we now have that circular metal magnet kind of clamping thing. So when we put it on a wireless charger, it can basically get a better fit and it won't randomly move around and it'll just click into place instead of you kind of hunting for that specific Qi charger, which I had to do all the time. I don't really use a wireless charger anymore, but something I'm really excited about are the accessories that come with the specific capability. So as you guys know, and you're maybe not even seen, you now have the capability of adding some chargers, some cases, not chargers, some cases and some accessories because of that magnetic strip. Apple actually hinted at their case that they're making that they haven't released yet or given a release date on, but basically the case itself uses that clamping MagSafe capability too, and you can add, they mentioned a wallet accessory to it, but I don't know what else they could do. I mean, the possibility are really endless it's just a metal clamp if you think about it and i love it because it's not in your face you don't have to stick it on or anything it's just a magnet you click it on and that's it and you take it off and that's something i'm really happy about and that is probably one of my favorite things about the iphone 12s because really if you think about it the possibilities are endless and you can even make docks that you know instead of having a base at the bottom where you have to like set your phone on the base can you know just click onto the wireless charger and just be on a magnet just like how apple showcased that i think belkin was working on some sort of like Apple Watch and you know iPhone hybrid charger and I think that's really awesome and with a phone like the iPhone 12s because they're you know tend to be bigger in size and everything I'm hoping that MagSafe on the back is bigger on those bigger phones so then we can even have a bigger range of where we can put our phones at on the wireless charger with smaller phones I've had my SE2s and stuff and putting it on a wireless charger can be hard to do sometimes I don't know if MagSafe is bigger on the bigger phones I would imagine so so that is going to be something that's really awesome now the second thing that I really loved about these new iPhones are more specifically towards the iPhone 12 Pro and 12 Pro Max Apple you know beyond the cameras getting improvements and all that stuff Apple actually said that the baseline storage for all these models are going from 64 gigs to 128 gigs and that is something that is really awesome I mean I can definitely tell you right now I've been talking about this for so long even before the 64 gig base model got out I was saying like dude I really hope they top out at at least baseline at 128 and that was when I had the iPhone 7 and that had I think 256 on my specific model but the baseline of those were 32 and then they went for 64 and it was 64 for a couple years and now they actually increase that again to 128 so that in and of itself is probably one reason why i'm going to be picking up and keeping at least a 12 pro or 12 pro max but the other thing to keep in mind is that the 128 is going to be the base model i'm pretty sure for all iphones next year and then maybe one day we'll get you know 256 as the base model because you know files are only getting bigger and that is something that i'm really happy about if that ends up being the case i will be super happy about that but at least for the iphone 12 pros and 12 pro maxes the biggest models are 128 where the standard 12 and 12 mini are 64 which i think still is okay it's a cheaper price tag so it's totally okay now the third thing that i want to hit on that really shocked me that apple actually they kind of opened it up with this specific thing and that was the better durability of these new iphones now not only do we get ip68 dust and water resistance for up to six meters of water so before it was like two meters of water for three meters of water this one is six meters of water so if you go swimming a lot if you put your phone in the shower or something most probably it's not going to get hurt i really would not recommend doing it anyway because sometimes people have like cracks in their phones they don't even realize they break the screen they like break the screen and they still take it in the showers and stuff i probably wouldn't recommend doing that but to each of their own it can withstand six meters of water which is pretty big but they also mentioned you know drop proof and all that stuff and that makes me feel so much better about owning this type of device i will definitely tell you i have used 
used to. I have dropped my phone so many times recently and I feel so bad about it. Anytime I break a phone or crack a screen, I always feel like I'm about to vomit. But with this iPhone 12, it'll make me feel even less likely to break the phone when I drop it because I've dropped the iPhone 11 Pro so many times, it is not cracked yet, which I'm so happy about. Hopefully it doesn't, which I'm about to get the iPhone 12s anyway. But these iPhones, even the 11 Pro series are awesome. And Apple, I think stated it's like four times better in terms of, you know, durability than the previous generation. And that is insane because you could probably just throw this thing up in the air and, th you know, crack it on the floor and it's probably not going to crack. Now, I wouldn't recommend doing that. I'm not responsible if you do that because <laughs> this is just an opinion. But I think these phones are going to be super durable based on everything Apple has said. And I think that's what one of its biggest assets for sure. So those are the three things that I saw that I actually really liked. Now they're a little bit different than the standard, you know, better performance, better cameras, whatever. Those things are kind of already, everyone's going to be talking about them. But these three things I think are something that are really awesome. And I personally am super excited about it. So if you guys have any other questions or anything, let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button. That would mean so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. Every single subscriber that we get really does count. So it'd be so much if you guys could hit that. Also check out the other links down in the description as well. My Twitter, my Instagram, my second channel. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out till then.